certified most accurate. Now your first Warren 5 forecast. A good Thursday morning. Meteorologist John Groves here with your first Warren 5 update. Let's talk about what's coming your way for today. There will be more chances for some showers and storms. Keyword here still going to be in a periodic fashion, so very similar to what we saw back on Wednesday. Yesterday weekend still trending drier, brighter and even warmer. Temperatures going to continue to go up as we go into next week, even approaching 90. It looks like past the weekend. Pinpoint Doppler from MBS this morning. Uh, we still do have a few showers out there and even a few embedded thunderstorms not going to be out of the question too, but a little bit more isolated as we start off the morning. Still being influenced by this area of low pressure off to the south. South. That's going to help to still bring in some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So that's going to be another big reason why we'll keep rain chances in your forecast at least for today and even into tomorrow, adding a little bit more heat and humidity to the equation. It's a marginal risk for some of our southern communities, so could have a few of these thunderstorms be on the stronger side, even possibly go severe. I think that better chance holds off until the afternoon and evening. Heavy rain, hail, even some damaging winds all going to be in the realm of possibility with any thunderstorm development today, so just make sure you stay weather aware have a way to get any weather alerts on any devices you may have. Let's walk you through the hour by hour and here it is the rest of the morning. It's a very isolated coverage. It looks like for the morning hours for any showers. I think it becomes a little bit more scattered as we get into the afternoon, but still notice plenty of areas with some dry time today. Now it does look like the best chance overall for your Thursday late into the afternoon, closer to the evening hours right there. 7, 8, 9 o'clock. A few embedded thunderstorms definitely going to be in the realm of possibility as we get into the second half of today. Once we go past midnight tonight, cold front will move through the region. I think we will lose any severe threat from Thursday and then still will be influenced by that area of low pressure we showed you back near Missouri. Still going to give us chances for some showers as we get into the day on Friday. Notice where the coverage is pretty much setting up right there south and east of the Tri-Cities. We'll have that best chance as we get into Friday morning, even into the afternoon. If you're going to be heading further north into the second half of Friday, I think you're going to start to see the drying trend just a little bit sooner. So the rain predictor will put it out until Saturday morning. So this is still including everything that we're anticipating for today and into tomorrow. Looks like about another half an inch. I think areas could get closer to an inch if you get located within one of the thunderstorms we're anticipating for your Thursday. Temperature is a little bit warmer today. We're adding a little bit more humidity back in the 70s this afternoon and your Memorial Day weekend outlook still looking great past the rain. Looks like we've got Saturday, Sunday and Monday right there in the 70s and then 80s by next week. Could even have an isolated shower Sunday morning. It's a very low chance. Just want to make you aware of it, but I think we get through most of the weekend on a dry note, so that's going to be the good news there. And then past that seven day forecast as we go even into next week, the heat is definitely going to be on. We're still talking temperatures right there. Upper 80s could even approach 90 by next Tuesday. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.